What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you're having a great Saturday uh, doing some work here, twinking, tweaking the set here, getting a couple other pieces and stuff here to make things a little more advantageous to be able to do what we do here. Let me check oh, the lighting there. That's even better for the lighting. Um, Right now is a difficult time for the team because you've got to make decisions right now that are going to affect the team in the future. And they're tough calls because you have players who have played well for you that you may look at saying, you know, we want to keep them. You know, do we pay this guy? We as the fans are always talking about, well, you know, this guy's overpaid, that guy's overpaid. Well, I want you to think about something, though. Let's say you are in a car wreck and you get injured by somebody else. It's not your fault that you get injured. You know, somebody runs into you, a drunk driver or, or just somebody texting on their phone and you are then disabled for the rest of your life. You are going to have physical problems and ailments because of no fault of your own because of that, or, or let's say, no, let's say not, not a car accident. Let's say on the job that you get disabled on your job, that you get hurt because of, you know, the liability of the company, that, that they did something and you are now unable to be able to do anything else. You're injured. More than likely, there'll be some kind of workman's comp or if it's negligence, you know, maybe a lawsuit, but then again, the way they've tried to change the rules so that way you can't sue the business, of course, for what happened to you, even though it may be their fault. But you want to understand that you want to be paid and compensated for what you do and taking the risk. Well, here lies football players, and I have never begrudged an NFL player for wanting to get paid. Let's be clear here that every single play that they take out there is a chance that it could be the last play that they ever play. And as we learned, you are literally risking your life. You could actually die on the field like we saw. Fortunately, he was brought back to life. But even beyond that, the ramifications of the hits that you take, guys that are suffering with CTE, um, I think about Brad Johnson, who actually played a year for the Cowboys, won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and played on a lot of different teams, who is younger than me but has ailments to the point where we were talking about six, seven years ago. He literally needs help to get out of the bed. And here we have Byron Jones, who is pretty much saying that I think he is retiring from football. Now, you'll remember in 2019 – Byron Jones was, you know, a great player for us. Um, we were on the precipice of, do we pay him or do we let him go to become a free agent? We let him go to become a free agent. He signed with the Miami Dolphins a five-year, $82.5 million contract with a $10 million uh, signing bonus, $16.5 million per year with $40 million guaranteed. So the total amount guaranteed on this contract was $54 million. Now, here's what's changed. Um, Byron Jones, let, 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 me, let me read actually the quote from him. Much has changed in, in eight years. Today, I can't run or jump because of my injury sustained playing this game. And this is a warning to other players. Do not take the pills they give you. Do not take the injections they give you. If, you're, if, if you absolutely must, consult an outside doctor to learn the long-term implications. We all know about Tanadol um, that players are encouraged to take, although there's a warning, don't take them before the games because they can cause internal bleeding. We know about seeing guys like Patrick Mahomes, you know, with their ankle, tore up and come out halftime, they're running around on it. These things that they're doing are not normal. 
And you could have medications and pills and shots and injections that will mask the pain. Understand there's a point to the pain is to let your body know, hello, stop doing what you're doing. You're destroying yourself. So in retrospect, looking back on what has happened in Byron Jones' career since he left, he played 2020, had two interceptions, 37 tackles. In 2021, 58 tackles, no interceptions, and he tore his Achilles tendon. And so he thought at the beginning of 22 that everything was good to go for him to be able to play. It wasn't, and he was unable to play. So it's literally ended his career. Much has changed in eight years. Today I can't run or jump because of my injuries sustained by this game. Do not take the pedals they give you. Do not take the injections. It has been an honor and a privilege to play in the NFL, but it became a regrettable cost I did not foresee. In my opinion, no amount of professional success or financial gain is worth the avoidable chronic pain and disabilities. Godspeed to the draft class of 2023. That's deep. He's only 30 years old, guys. 30 years old. So back in March... In March last year, he went in to get a cleanup surgery to a lingering injury dealt with in the 21 season. Jones was expected to be ready for training camp in July, but he never was activated off the pup list. Yeah. So here we go. This is the thing about football. You know, we always, as fans, we'll turn around and say a guy, oh, he's a big P. Because he's not playing. Oh, he's a bum, man. Guys, you think about the quarterback, Dak Prescott, literally having his ankle broken completely. You think about his thumb being broken in a metal plate. You think about Pat Mahomes and a high ankle sprain that's getting shot up and playing the second half. You think about guys that are playing with fractured ribs This game is brutal. This game is pretty tough. And don't ever say that any of these guys are overpaid. They are putting their neck on the line every single day. I hope Byron Jones, as well as all of the football players that are out there, because there's, our, there's millions of them that are suffering that didn't even make it to the NFL level. College, high school, players that are dealing with chronic injuries because of football for our entertainment. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, Byron, I hope you get better, buddy. Shout out to you for everything that you've done for the game of football. Peace.